finishing this last half inch has been so hard. I've messed up like right here. I've messed up a number of times and there's a spot somewhere right here where it's going to be the string's going to be visible just because I had to go over it twice. Lessons learned in this last half inch but I think I'm just going to finish this and be done <laughs> because I'm having a hard time finishing it. I'm really rusty. I don't remember how to properly finish like at this point, like how much more I'm supposed to do or can do. But right now I'm just going to try to backfill. But like I said, this isn't perfect. I made a bunch of mistakes, but lessons learned for next time. Back in the day, my brothers were really into NASCAR. They still are. So they would watch it all the time. My mom also started watching it. And I did. My sister. And we did make it to some NASCAR races. <laughs> I know it's really random. And so I don't know if it was my mom or my sister that came up with the design for this rug. Um, but this is the NASCAR logo, but with our last name. So my maiden name is Hale. Um, so yeah, that's where the design came from. <laughs> I also have a rug from my grandma that I've been meaning to hang up for the longest time, but I haven't been, I haven't got around to it, but I really should. And then maybe this next rug that I'm going to weave, we can also hang up in our house. finished um if you saw my last video you saw that i was finishing this up let's see the top up here so this uh was started a long long time ago and it had just been sitting on the loom with maybe that much to finish and then like a few years ago i tried to um work on it and finish it and I remember working on these red parts, these stripes, and it was <laughs> so hard to do. And then I stopped and then it just sat there again for a few years. And then just recently I decided to pick it up again and finish it. And the top, it's so rusty. I messed up a number of times. 
but yeah it's all done and finished it even has i don't know if there's a name for it but you see the fancy edge with the two pieces of yarn or string i don't know what that if there's a name for that pretty cool to, f to finally finish it and exciting um because i want to do another rug um on my own again this time from start to finish probably smaller than this like almost half this size because this is a pretty good size but with the limited amount of time i do have <laughs> with my kids at home like this is kind of too big so i'm gonna see if i can do a smaller size I do have all the tools. I have the loom, I have the combs, I have yarn, I have the the warp thread. Um, last year I ordered, I think I ordered one, some on, I ordered some online and then I went to the store in person and bought some. So here is all of my yarn, um, some pretty colors that I chose. That'll probably be what I work on. I forgot I didn't roll these up into the ball, so I'll have to do that. Oh, here's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for to finish my other rug, because I had a small needle, like that small, but I knew I had a big one, and I was looking for this one. But I found it. Here's the warp thread. This I got in Gallup um, at the weaving store. Oops what it's called but it's a really cool weaving store in Gallup um, and Navajo Arts and Crafts of course is where I got those ones so I need to roll those up the last rug that I wove for my nephew he loves Denver Broncos so I think I did a, I tried to do a football design and a football in orange and blue because he liked so those are the Denver Broncos colors I don't know if I have a picture of it. If I find a picture of it, I'll I'll put it up on this screen. But yeah, these are just some of the colors that I have. I have another box in the garage with more. But I need to stop hoarding these and actually use these. So I'm all finished with that rug. I'm glad to finally have it completed and done and off the loom so I can put that loom away. I don't think I'll be using that loom. It's really old. Um, I'll show you the loom that I'm gonna try to use for this next rug that I wanna try. Um, but I wanted to show this bag. My mom made it, I don't know how many years ago. It's probably as old, if not older than I am. <laughs> uh, but it's just a, oh, big opening up here and you can see it's a long one and this is what she would store and carry all of her weaving um all of the all of the sticks and everything that she the rods that she would put into her rugs um because you know as you're working your way through parts of a rug if it's a small one or a big one you're using different sizes depending on where you're at in your rug but I decided, and I've still been using this to just carry around and tie it at the top um, to store it away, but I need a different solution. And so I was online trying to figure out what type of bag or box or storage container I could find to try to store those. Um, and I think I found a solution. So I ordered this. I took video when I received it and unpackaged it so you can see what it looked like when I got it. But here it is. <laughs> um, so there, was, there are a number of things that I looked at um, and one thing that came up was a tripod case because I wanted a case that was that you could close either with a lid um, or a zipper and I looked at different types of home organizers, containers, boxes um, and a bag just seemed more appropriate, some type of bag because of course I'm not, I don't weave full time so I don't need them displayed or hanging up somewhere in a room where the kids are going to get into it and everything. Um, I needed a, more of a storage solution to have 
to be able to store away in the garage or in our room or and just be able to quickly find it and take it out when I do need it um, and also something that would keep them safe um, some type of padding um, but I'm kind of, I'm happy with this so this is actually a tripod bag for a camera or a video tri tripod you can see on the front it says vid pro and everything in here fits so these I'll flip the camera around and show you uh, but it's it has a big shoulder strap and it does have two carrying um, handles and it has a big zipper and everything fits in there um, the padding I wish it was a little bit more protected more padded there are some that are but they're more expensive and but I just needed something simple I wanted to try it out and see if I liked it so and while I have that out, this is the little loom that I'll be using um, that I said I previously used. I didn't take it apart completely. I should probably do that. You can see all my markings. I really took my time with it. Um, but here's the base. These just screw on. I also need to find those screws. I don't know where I put those screws. So hopefully it goes smoothly when I try to put this together and share with you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching as I finished um, the rug of mine. Like this video, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.